I began life uh, in a place called Methven in mid Canterbury in New Zealand, decided to go to university and from there got involved in international business. Uh, originally setting up a company called Ansco Foods uh, in Japan as a sales and marketing company for sheep meat. And then as market access changed for beef, then uh, backward integrated into uh, assets in New Zealand, building a number on the process. And today Ansco Foods is New Zealand's fifth largest uh, exporter. And we employ over 3,000 people with a network of offices around the world and 11 production sites in New Zealand and one in Australia. New Zealand's comparative advantage lies with the land and the agri-food sector uh, actually accounts for over 70% of the country's merchandise trade. But if you work it back to the gross domestic product, effectively one in every four dollars is generated from the uh, land-based sector in one form or other. We operate the country's only large-scale cattle feedlot and then we have slaughter and processing sites and beyond that we're into value-added products. So everything from cooked hamburgs through to making bone gel to making jerky and other items, beef extracts, animal tissues, food and solutions essentially. ANSCO obviously has had a strong focus on Asia because that's where we began. And when we look at our beef business, yes, the United States is number one, but Japan follows closely behind, tending to think of ourselves as an Asia Pacific trading business. So I think the most important thing in leadership is seeing opportunities and then surrounding yourself with the people that uh, can execute those opportunities. In other words, they've got to buy into it. The key thing is to have a group of people, shareholders and service providers and customers who trust you. So trust is at the centre of all of this, I believe, and be prepared to step up and become the future leaders.